America loves fast food hamburgers. We eat them by the billions every year. And yet, what makes a good hamburger? People in the hamburger business will tell you that it's at least a burger with 50% ground beef. My mission is to look at the three iconic burgers in the American fast food landscape and find out how they compare to the ideal hamburger. Let's start with the Big Mac from McDonald's. Among all the great fast food burgers of America, this is the only one that is a double decker. So let's measure what we've got with the Big Mac. You can see a lot of lettuce. The weight, if you can't see it, is 7.1 ounces. Since the bottom burger has cheese on it, we're just gonna measure the top patty and, and multiply by two. That comes to exactly one ounce. So next up is Dave's Single, which is a single patty hamburger created by Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas. He wanted to have, make sure that every burger that he sold was a quarter pound of fresh, as they say, not frozen, ground beef. It's 4.6 ounces. So that is 1.6 ounces of ground beef. So the next burger is the Whopper, uh, available at Burger King. Its claim to fame, of course, is that its burger is flame grilled. Let's get uh, it on the scale here. And this comes to 6.9 ounces. We're not gonna be able to get every molecule of cheese off, so this won't be a perfect measurement. And it comes to 1.9 ounces. The Dave Single would seem to be the clear winner here, but really they all fall below the ideal of 50% bun to beef ratio. In fact, I think based on the ideal ratio, you could say none of these are classic hamburgers.